Welcome all, you have been hearing my voice for the past many weeks, so now you can get to associate a person with it. I, it has been a pleasure for me to be uh, part of this uh, workshop. Um, I hope the material I have shared with you has improved your learning uh, to a good extent. Um, so right now I will just talk about the workshop plan and some of the logistics in conducting the workshop for this one week. So let's get started there. Okay, so here is the schedule for the week. As you can see, the first 9.30 to 11 on almost all the days, we have talks specific to learning. So on uh, July 1st, we have a talk on handling student projects by Professor Baskar. Um, on 2nd July, there is the flipping the classroom. So this is my own experiences in conducting this course in a flipped classroom setting. By the way, these two will be streamed. These are recorded videos. And then there is a teaching pedagogy for effective learning by Professor Sridhar Iyer. Uh, this is on Thursday. And then there's an active learning session again by Professor uh, Sridhar Iyer. That's on July. And the final day, I'll talk about some of the new things that are happening in computer networks. So then uh, again from here on, uh, for example, today we will start the lab session early because the first lab is a learning experience. A lot of you are going to be handling tools that are likely uh, you are doing it for the first time. I wanted to give you some additional time such that you are more familiar with them. So tomorrow again post talk on in fact almost on all days we have course content and lab clarification session. So basically we will, this is a question and answer session where we have already collected some questions from your remote centers. We will uh, uh, clarify some of those questions as well as any questions you may have specific to the lab. So this is a question and answer session that's there on four days, whereas the final day will be the workshop feedback and validatory function. All afternoons. Uh, the five afternoons we have the lab sessions where we will do a lot of computer networking based labs. Whereas on the final day we have an online feedback by the individual participants. This is supposed to be handled via Moodle. So there is a survey that will be set up on Moodle. Your, supposed, your workshop coordinator is supposed to give you online access and you are supposed to fill the Moodle survey on the final day. So that is the schedule for the entire week. Okay, so we covered the schedule. So let me also provide a little bit of the lab overview, how the labs are going to be conducted. So first let me tell what the role of the workshop coordinator is so that you know who to trouble when you need something. So along with the local TAs, he or she should have set up the lab machines with the right tools. So as part of the networking course, um, the lab, we are going to use TCP dump, Wireshark, NS2, these are all the tools which you will learn. So they should have set up these lab machines with these tools. In order to log into the machines, you also need login details. This is also something they will provide. <coughs> and for each lab, they are also supposed to provide lab exercise and supporting material at the beginning of the lab. We have prepared these lab exercises, but there are certain settings which are very specific to the local setting. For example, what IP addresses are being used, this is going to vary from uh, remote center to remote center. So they need to provide that additional information. So this is something they will give you a lab exercise based on which you are supposed to do the lab. And during the lab, in, in case you are stuck, uh, if any issue you are facing, they are supposed to clarify your questions as well as debug any issue. And at the end, they are also supposed to provide solutions to the current lab. What is your role? You basically during the lab, you have to pair up preferably. Depending upon the capacity at the remote center, again your uh, workshop coordinator will guide you in this regard. We would like groups of at most two, three is not preferable, but if there are fewer number of machines, we, I mean it's okay. 
but try to work in groups of two. Um, and if you are really interested and if there is capacity at the remote center, you can even work individually. Except for the first day where the lab starts at 11.30. The rest of the days, the lab starts at 2 p.m. So please assemble at the labs at the correct time. Don't delay. The labs are packed. You will need all the time you can get. You need to get the login details from your coordinator. You download the assignments. Again, coordinator will tell you where to download it from. Focus and finish the work by 5.15 PM. And while you're doing the work, before taking help, you try to help yourself. You know, a lot of times, you trying to think it leads to better learning instead of just asking for help. So the best way to learn is for you to try it out on your own only when you are after giving enough effort. If you are still not able to uh, figure out, then take help. So after this, you can start the lab checking at around 5.15 p.m. It's good if you, a group can pair up with another group, whether or not your work is finished. You download the answers, discuss the answers, you check each other answers, that way you will get and that way you will also learn through peer interaction. It's okay if you could not complete the lab on time. You can work on it in leisure later. The exercises are there for you to take. The entire setup also how to do it will provide you the details. Uh, there are no grades for this. This lab session is basically for your learning. But at the same time, the opportunity is rare. In other words, this kind of setup, it's not easy to reproduce. So please do due diligence. Uh, and do your best in trying to answer the questions in the lab. This is a point which I cannot emphasize. Your coordinator should be your first contact point. We can only provide very limited support remotely. We have basically five TAs to handle 9,000 participants. As you can see, the load on the TAs, if everyone starts asking questions, is way too much. They cannot handle. And for example, if something is not set up, there is nothing much we can do remotely. Um, if you are not provided material, well, we could do something about it. But overall, coordinator should be your first contact point. In case he is not able to help, then contact us. So just because there are many centers and sometimes there are issues beyond control, we have a few backup options. All the lab material that the coordinators um, would modify and share it with you. This is the unmodified one. This is available under Google Drive. So most of the uh, content will be updated over time. So keep checking it. This URL I had already emailed to you earlier when I have shared the videos. But another email will also would have gone out by now. So this is the place where lab material is available. So look at it. Specifically, the things that are of interest to you. Um, so let me just show the place to you. So this is the uh, drive that I was mentioning. This is where all the videos that we have shared with you. Now you can see two new folders. This is the workshop general material. For example, this talk, this overview slides, I will upload here. Anything slides that I get from the talks, I'm going to upload here. So this is currently empty. Uh, for example, it has the schedule. Sorry, it's not empty. But it has the schedule for you to go through. Uh, any other stuff uh, related to general material will be uploaded in this workshop general material. And then there is this workshop lab material. So for example, I've already put some lab material here. So this is the lab exercise. Uh, I'll talk more about it. These are some supporting slides if you want to go through them in order to um, do the exercise. We'll be using TCP dump as part of this lab exercise. So there's a tutorial on how to use TCP dump also shared as part of this. So this is all the lab material that is up here. So this point I wish to emphasize, please pay close attention. The lab exercises that are shared in this Google Drive are material that have been designed when the lab was conducted at IIT Bombay. This is what your coordinators have done. Your coordinator was supposed to have edited this material based on local settings, like what local IP addresses, what are the servers, so on. And he should have shared 
this modified lab exercises with you. Use this material only in case your coordinator for whatever reason is unable to share the exercise with you. Now when you are using this material in this Google Drive, you have to adapt the material to your local setting. You cannot blindly follow whatever is given there because this as I said is applicable to IIT Bombay material. So apart from the lab, I know there will be some issues or the other arising, so we would like to provide a communication channel, but as mentioned, first help yourself, you could Google, there is lot of material available on Google, you figure out some of the things on your own, you think, you can also talk with your workshop coordinator TAs to get some help, peer group is also a very strong support system, so talk with them discuss among yourself to figure out what is it that how you can solve the problem. Only as a last resort contact us. So here are two ways to contact us. Most of you are aware of these two email addresses, if not please note them down. So you can chat or email on these two email addresses. If you want to chat naturally you need a Gmail account yourself. If you do not have a Gmail account, you can send us an email, we will reply to these emails. So these two we will constantly monitor to provide support for you. Apart from this, we also have two phone numbers um, through which we will provide some help. This help is available only between 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, except for today where from 11.30 to 5 p.m. Basically this help is available only during the lab timings, it is not available any other time. So please do not call these numbers uh, let us say at uh, 7 in the night or morning because no one will be there to answer. Sometimes I know like you are very frustrated because things have not gone according to your liking. If you wish to complain, I know you may not want to reveal your name. So we are also you could potentially send us an anonymous email. So this is a service that is on the internet. All you need to do is specify the two address and you can send an email, we will not know from whom it has come from. So if you wish to complain about anything, please feel free to use this service as well. Okay. So that is with respect to the lab. So I will handle any questions you may have after I finish all the slides. Apart from the lab, I also mentioned a content clarification sessions which happened from 11.30 till uh, 1. So each remote center coordinator in discussion with you all was supposed to have uploaded two questions. Many of you have already uploaded. So we will go through these questions, pick up some of the interesting ones and we will clarify. We can also during this time take up a few lab related questions. In other words, you did something during the lab and you did not understand why the way things are. So if there is something you would like us clarified, we will take up some of these lab related questions as well. And we will also use this session at least maybe 20 minutes uh, or 30 minutes to provide an overview of the upcoming lab so that you are comfortable with uh, what you are going to do in the upcoming lab. So at the very last day afternoon, which is the Saturday afternoon, we are going to conduct an online survey. That is the time slot designated for this, but we will make the survey available one day before itself, which is July 4th and we will keep it open until July 11th. Uh, July 5th is where uh, the slot has been allocated mainly for this, but in case for whatever reason you are not able to fill up the survey during that time, you can do it later as well. Um, one thing I would like to emphasize here is that feedback is what makes the workshops better. So you are contributing in a way in improving the workshop for the later participants. So please take the effort to do the online survey. This will help us tremendously. I mean given the amount of effort we have put that the least you could do. Apart from this, there is also a post workshop homework. This is after you leave from here on July 5th. So we want the participants to do something together, so in groups of three or four. So while you are here, uh, talk with others, form groups of three or four. There are four uh, ac potential activities you could do, you do not have to do all of them, just select one among these activities. For example, you could decide to create think pair share resources, what this is will become clear during the talks that are going to happen over the week. You could also design new questions for a question bank. 
um, you could animate some networking concepts or you could design lab exercise like the kind that we have designed and shared with you. So you can select whatever it is that you want. So there are certain, again more details of it I will share with you again after the workshop a detailed email will go but these are some of like if you are creating thin pair share I want at least 4 concepts. If you are creating questions I want at least 12 questions. So this is all you are working as a group of 3 to 4 participants. So you are given time till July 20th to submit this homework to your remote center coordinator and your remote center coordinator is going to share the homework with us. How he is going to share we will again provide this will be via the Moodle. Um, I will share this information with you. Sorry, this is this is not supposed to be remote center coordinator. This is the workshop coordinator is supposed to share the homework with us. How he will share we will provide the details uh, later. This, uh, but at a high level let me tell you this will be handled via Moodle again. So finally I am sure apart from the learning the certification is also important. So the certification is a function of two things. One is you are supposed to have done your online practice problems on Bodhi tree. So the deadline for this is July 20th. I will get into this uh, more details shortly. Apart from that we also want you to have done well in this post workshop homework which I have mentioned any of those 4 categories you can select. The deadline for this is also July 20th. So once this happens your workshop coordinator is supposed to pass this information to us then based on who have done their intended work then we will decide who to give the certificates to. So this is going to take some time so expect certificates only by August end. So that's that's how it is. So let me end this talk with an apology. Uh, so why the apology? I know the Bodhi tree did not work as we had intended it to work but let me give a little bit of history behind it. So this platform was started about one and a half years ago uh, where I wanted to prepare this material. In fact that was my main goal uh, to share instead of writing another textbook I wanted to write what I call a multimedia textbook where all uh, inst just like a textbook has chapters and then sections and so on what I wanted was a multimedia textbook also organized in the form of chapters sections but where everything is put together in one place where you have videos quizzes more or less the way Bodhi tree is organized. And I wanted to use this textbook when I teach my own students with the final intention to make this textbook available to everyone so that they can um, make use of the kind of lectures that happen at IIT Bombay. So there was lot of effort I had put in the textbook creation itself uh, as you can see uh, there is lot of content, a lot of quizzes it took that is what Professor Fatak was also referring that was the hardest I had worked uh, in the semester. Um, so for the workshop supporting we had started with this Bodhi tree platform and uh, there was not anyone we could employ from outside because we had to pay very high salaries. So we had just leveraged on our BTEC students who are really smart who have very excellent coding skills. So I was very lucky to have uh, 2, 3 such uh, students I should mention the name Saif and uh, Alankar so those 2 started. And they had done such an outstanding job in the very first version and we I used it uh, for running a course here at IITB to our own BTEC students uh, in the flipped classroom setting that is the, uh, the talk I am going to give on uh, July 2nd is going to cover some of these experiences. So then we found it to be very useful then we thought we should uh, um, enhance it. At that time there was Coursera, Coursera was there, edX was there but none of it was open source where we could use it to uh, run our own courses. So we felt a need to develop something in house so we started upgrading it so it went to version 2 again version 2 was used to run another course uh, within IITB by another faculty. Then we wanted to really use this to reach out to lot of other engineering colleges. 
but then it was done by ad hoc like some students were working on it by the time these people had all uh, graduated they had these jobs in Facebook and Twitter and so on so they all migrated overseas uh, so I got hold of the next bunch of students they were working on it so it was kind of uh, it wasn't that there was continuous support people come do something people go to the extent possible we have tried to maintain pretty good code standards when we decided to open it up for this workshop from the beginning until 300,000 participants we were sure it will support but beyond that I myself had lot of doubts uh, we wanted to undertake a lot of scalability testing but there wasn't enough time but at the same time I really wanted to share the multimedia textbook with all basically the videos so the thought was that we will open it up we were expecting problems it's not that none of these problems were not expected but then we thought as the worst case if this is not working out we will share the mp4s through some other mechanism either put it up on youtube google drive or whatever it is but we will try to use it so that the feedback that comes is going to help us improve the platform further for uh, later uh, participants so that was the history I hope in the context of history you uh, will uh, forgive us for the kind of inconvenience we have put you through. I know many of you uh, could not especially the last two weeks where the load significantly increased because everyone was doing this last minute uh, practice problems and the server got too much overloaded. So what we are going to do going forward is I still want you to do the practice problems because that will show us that you have learned something from the workshop so what we will do is we will open up two servers one is this 14.139 address which you are all familiar with another address which you may have heard of which is this bodhitree.csc so we will move the remote centers uh, across split the remote centers across these two servers and hopefully that will reduce the load um, again a sincere apology uh, but it was done with the best intentions at heart so that's about um, the slide so I can take some questions after this I will provide an overview of the upcoming lab actually ma'am this, uh, this document is download uh, download disab disable actually so do what document you saw in this uh, presentation which document, uh, document which document are you talking about overview of this Huh. You just show this yes, this document. So we, can this and we, can, we can use that for later on for the reference purpose. Sure, I will. I will share this document within that folder that I had just now showed. So the document, this schedule, this overview, all this information will be under that workshop general material, which as soon as the session ends, I will upload it there. Okay, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Yeah, please ask your question. The remote center is 1296. Yeah, good morning. This is from remote center 1296. Yes. And uh, it is very nice to have that multimedia uh, features and contents about that uh, networking, company networking. And uh, my suggestion is if it is, I mean, uh, more, uh, I mean, during this session till, I mean, the last two of the, uh, in this week, if the more oriented about the lab sessions and assignments, it will be helpful to faculty and also we can elaborate the things to the students so that uh, students can understand very uh, easily and uh, more elaborately because this uh, course will be helpful to the students. I mean, uh, they are becoming an industry ready after the completion of their graduation courses. So my suggestion is uh, during this course and also that be uh, before the end of this course, if you uh, keep us on uh, moving to uh, towards the more uh, lab oriented and assignments oriented it will be something very uh, easy to uh, i mean have a uh, uh, program sure i mean this is uh, something which we had in mind in fact as part of the bodhi tree itself uh, as part of any concept if there is any lab associated with it we wanted to incorporate that lab there along with provide any video content that explains the lab but as I said this is again uh, another task it will take me some time to generate all the videos and integrate but that said at the end of the uh, workshop 
I will share with all the participants the setup that you need to, for example, if you want to reproduce this lab setting within your college, I will provide you all the scripts, all the tools along with the assignments, along with the solutions and some other uh, video tutorials like NS2 video tutorial, socket programming tutorial. I will also try to create a TCP dump tutorial as well as Wireshark tutorial and share it with you. So uh, a request is, uh, I mean we will have lot of this type of uh, question answer sessions later as well. What I would like you to focus on in this current question answer is clarifications related to the workshop schedule and the afternoon lab sessions. The other details we will definitely take it up during the later uh, the 11.30 to 2, 1 slots on other days. So if you have a question please ask a question related to the schedule and the lab sessions. If they are not there I will go ahead and uh, talk about the lab. Remote center 1335, yes. Yeah, I had two questions, one regarding the utilities like ARP and TCP dump. Uh, as far as I followed, they are based on Linux or Unix platform. Yes. So they are kind of limited in accessibility because most of them are Windows based. Most of our workstations are Windows based. So if we could uh, mention some of your utilities based on Windows platform, it would be more uh, widely popular. Sure. Secondly, secondly uh, the workstations that are available, let us say the remote center coordinator makes available workstations with these utilities, but after we go home, it is, would be difficult to access these utilities. Uh, it would be beneficial if IIT Bombay itself could set up some team viewer or sort of utilities where one can log in to some server in IIT Bombay and uh, practice at home. Yeah, so regarding your first question about Windows, yes, I mean this was brought up during the coordinator workshop as well, um, except that as I said it needs a lot of time to, re uh, it's definitely feasible to do many of these exercises in Windows because Windows also has Wireshark, it has uh, uh, something called WinDump. Uh, so all the things are there as part of Windows as well. It is a matter of someone uh, redoing the exercises, installing the required packages, figuring out how to do it on Windows. It's a, it's a process that will take a few months. Um, we didn't, I didn't have the bandwidth right now to uh, indulge in this, but uh, that is something which hopefully within before another six months we will have it ready and uh, we will share that information also with all. Uh, regarding your second thing about uh, the tools and stuff, again these are very popular tools, readily available, you can just download them from the internet. Apart from that we will also provide packages for this uh, so that you can download everything. And your suggestion of uh, uh, what is it, people logging into IIT Bombay and doing some of these. So for example things like NS2, TCP dump, Wireshark is something that is so widely available that anyone should be able to download it and do it. But there are certain other tools which are lot more sophisticated and which need help in installation because we ourselves struggle with their installation. These are tools called VNX or VNUML. These also provide, these are again some of the things we use at IITB for our own students. I would have very much liked to use them, but the setup is so complicated that I could not trust, uh, we ourselves struggle. So I cannot deal with 250 centers uh, trying to set it up. These kind of uh, setup, yes, we are looking at a virtualized uh, lab environment. We are also working towards building it. It will be available again maybe another year from now or six months from now. So there is some effort going on in that direction as well. Yeah. Good morning ma'am, uh, the video contents that were shared were commendable, it was really uh, very effective and we could learn. The online assignment were also like easy to upload and but uh, I really had a question like afternoon lab session if we get stuck in between will we get some online help to you like to videos. So that is yeah, that is what I was trying to tell. So if you are, for example, if there is, 
no setup itself, like there is no NS2 installed or there is no TCP dump installed, then there isn't much we can do from here. Maybe we can tell use this command whatever to do, but uh, if you are stuck somewhere, permissions issues, there is only so much we can do. But that said, if it's a concept problem, like for example, you ran something, you observed something, you are not able to figure out why is it that what you observed, that kind of a help we can provide, that is where the helpline is. Even there also, as I said, talk with your coordinator, talk with your peers and then ask us the questions. Even installation also to some extent, if there is something we can do, we do have a sysad with us uh, who will be available during at least on the first day. If there are some issues that needs a sysad, uh, he will likely help you. But all I am saying is remotely helping you, it is not easy. Uh, we will do our best. Uh, yeah, one thing is that can we use the videos and other materials you are given to us for our students and for training our faculty members. And one more thing is uh, you had a lot of online questions. In the video you had a lot of questions there. And can we get a copy of that because uh, retrieving that was a bit uh, difficult for us. Okay. Uh, so the MP4s are freely widely available. I made it available in uh, Drive. You can even download from Bodhi Tree. Anything extra, which is this quizzes and uh, online assignments and so on, the idea, see I do not have any issue sharing it with everyone except that we do want to encourage some structure to it. In other words, we would like to monitor who is doing what so that the data will help us uh, better the platform as well as, so we do not want it to be a free for all. But we are working towards, so Professor Fartak's this MOOCs, online MOOCs as well as this platform, whatever it is, the end goal is that this material to be available for all so that you can log in, do things on your own. We do not want to generally release it out, then there is no incentive for anyone to uh, log into the platform. Once you log in, we get a lot of information on the student dynamics, which questions are they finding it difficult, which questions are they finding it easy. Or uh, uh, for example, when they are watching the videos also, we would like them to watch online so that uh, some videos if they are always stopping after a certain point, that means there is something wrong at that particular point. So all the statistics are, are very useful for us. Um, and also we should also work out an ecosystem where, I mean to support this platform as well as to run it, manage it. Uh, you need some manpower there, whatever has to be paid. It, it cannot be a really a, uh, some minimal thing you need to support. So for all that details are being worked out, uh, maybe a year from now, I think there will be a lot more clarity. Till then, I am very happy to share with all MP4s. The quizzes and other stuff, we will wait for a year. But the idea is to make it available to everyone uh, through this um, process. Good morning, madam. Huh. I am from Anamachar Institute of Technology and Sciences, Rajan Bed, madam. Hmm. Yeah, ask your question. 1341. Huh. Yes. You please send the uh, that is material Google Docs uh, you know, URL to our workshop coordinators, my lady, madam, because it doesn't be working, madam. Whether I'm when I'm typing that same information on my a window, huh. it doesn't working. Yeah, the coordinators, yeah, we have only sent it to all the participants because coordinators already have this information available under Bodhi tree, under uh, workshop labs as well as reference material. It's the same material I'm sharing with them. So I didn't think it was necessary to share with uh, the workshop coordinators, but anyway, we will send it to workshop coordinators also. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Uh, madam, uh, basically I am having uh, two doubts here. Uh, one is related to the technical. When I try to install this ARPING for a gratuitous ARPING, huh. uh, we are losing this net connectivity. Yes. Could be the reason. So ARPING already is installed within the, if you had used the kernel Linux uh, thing that we have already provided you, it already comes with ARPING. So do not install ARPING. It's already there. If you try to install it, yeah, there is some issue. I mean, we we also saw it here, but uh, we didn't debug it, so I don't have an answer for that. But uh, the kernel has it already. Only if you try to install on top of it is when you will see this issue. If you do not install it, it's fine. 
Uh, one more question, madam. And we had this ARP and ARPing, madam. Uh, I could not understand. ARP we can e easily can able to execute, but yes. uh, uh, the problem is arising uh, whenever if I want to do it for gratitude. Yeah. yeah, precisely. So ARP also is a powerful thing. In order to manipulate it, you need root permissions. Often we do not like to give root permissions to our students on those machines. So ARPing is a user level thing that tries to send gratuitous ARP without root permission. Uh, the last question, madam. Uh, uh, can I ask the participants to uh, download uh, assignments either from the Bodhi, uh, Bodhi tree, whether it is active now, or else uh, I ask, can I ask them uh, to download it from the Google Drive? Yeah, so you, I mean, Google Drive is better. Bodhi tree uh, is also active, but you need to share with them your uh, uh, your login credentials. And I don't, yeah, but if everyone does it, then Bodhi tree will also crash. <laughs> so. Yeah, to a good extent, we would prefer if the participants download it from the Google Drive itself. But as I said, you should have modified it before sharing it with your participants. So that thing is unmodified version. They will have issues with because lot of the detail is IITB specific. Anyhow, madam, I am having some doubts related to the technical uh, things, and I will talk to the technical team in the. Uh, in the ask them. Yeah, sure. Send us. Yeah, contact our group. Uh, assignments are also there in the Moodle accounts. What assignments? Uh, 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 whatever the uh, things are, lab assignments. Uh, lab are assignments also, are also uh, there. Uh, uh, yes. Uploading is to be done through the Moodle accounts. No, no. So let me clarify something. So I think there was some confusion in um, the email that was sent out by E Outreach. So lab exercises, which is this entire week, whatever lab exercises you are doing, there is no uploading of any solutions anywhere because there is no one who will grade it. There is, uh, this is just to ensure for your learning. So there is nothing in dealing with Moodle this week other than the survey, posting of the survey. Other than that, there isn't use of uh, Moodle for any of the lab exercises. The email that was sent out was for that post workshop homework. In other words, after you leave, you are supposed to work in groups of 3, 4. For that, you have to use Moodle to upload, but let us deal with it later. It is not relevant this week. Yeah, one last question because I need to get into the lab overview. Hello, madam. Yeah, this lab material, uh, are, are you going to provide, uh, cover the whole uh, course material in this lab sessions or some particular course material you are going to deal with this lab, in this lab? So, so typically in a course here at IITB, more or less at every layer, we have some lab exercises. Naturally, within five days, you cannot cover the entire labs. So I have just handpicked a few of these exercises. So we will cover various concepts. Uh, uh, so for example, multiplexing, demultiplexing, um, concepts about uh, uh, some uh, socket programming, things like that. So these are uh, only a select things. But whatever is related to it, the slides associated with it, the lab exercises will mention what are the relevant slides. And the slides have also been provided as part of the drive. But to a good extent, if you are worrying, I did not watch all the videos, can I do these lab exercises, I guess if that is your question, then it is still fine. You will still be able to do the lab exercises, though you may have to brush up on a few things. And uh, you had mentioned about the one lab assignment, post uh, workshop lab assignments. Yes. Right. So, so what type of assignment? There you have uh, listed so many, four. Yeah. In that case, suppose if we are developing one networking problem, can you uh, take that one as assignment or uh, or so, should, should we do the same exercise with the lab, whatever lab we are going to do? No, no, no. This is a new content. So the idea there in this post homework assignment is each of you are contributing for everyone. In other words, if, you, if I have already done something, there is no point in you reproducing the same thing. So the idea there is you are creating additional resources for you to uh, share with the community. So we want something that is already not done. So for example, if you are choosing some lab exercises there, 
you, I want you to create new exercises similar to the ones you have done, but something that tests something else. So, in the interest of time, uh, we will uh, stop this session. Thank you.